Let's take a look at how we can turn an existing SQL Server database into a spawn data image via creating a backup. So first, I'll log into the instance, just to have a look at what is the database that we're working with in this example. And I can see that it's the AdventureWorks sample database with various tables and uh, data within them. In order to turn this data set into a spawn data image, I need to get my hands on a database backup file. In this case, I'll be backing up the database myself. I'll be telling SQL Server to back this up into a folder called local backups on my C drive. As soon as I execute that, I should have the backup file in that folder, and I do. I'll then switch to a text editor with a command prompt where I'll make us a directory to work in. And in that directory, I'll create image.yaml file, which will serve as a definition of the image that we want Spawn to create. In this case, the YAML that I pasted tells Spawn that the name of this data image will be AdventureWorks. We'll be creating it from a backup. It'll be running on SQL Server 2017, and then provide Spawn with information of where to find this backup file. In our case, see local backups and the file name. I've also added a tag called production so that later within Spawn, I can tell that this data image corresponds to a production backup of this database. We're going to save this file. And now that I have the backup and the YAML, I can tell Spawn to create the data image using this file. Once the image is created, I can verify that it's there by asking Spawn to get all the data images that I have in Spawn. And there it is. So next, I can ask Spawn to create me a data container from this image. Uh, and I'm going to give it a lifetime of 24 hours. Now that the data container was created, I can connect to it like to any other database. So I'm going to copy the server name and also I'm going to copy the password that Spawn generated for me for this instance. And I'm going to log into it to have a look. Once there, I can see that my AdventureWorks sample database is there and all the tables with all that data that we saw early on is there as well. So that's how easy it is to create a Spawn data image from an existing SQL Server database, then create a container from that image and be able to connect to it.